Now I'm starting an older game. <laughs> How old are uh, you? Brilliant. I'm 36. Yeah. I do that. I'm, I'm like, like uh, blocking it out. I'm like, <laughs> I'm either turning 36 or turning 37. I'm literally, I've got a brain freeze right now. That's so funny. So yeah, yeah I retired at 32. Right. So yeah, um, I'm 36. Okay. So retiring so at 32, done. like, what was the, alt, like, what was the actual point you made that decision to be like, right, time to retire. Yeah, so I, I, I must be honest, like it's a bit of the industry as well as me and my gut. Like right. I had an interesting time with Polygon. Yeah. Um, I, thought, I thought the bike was pretty good. We came out swinging at the first race, qualified in the top 10 yeah. with a mistake. Um, so I, was, I think I was really motivated after not getting renewed at Giant and how those things ended after four like pretty good years. I improved every year on my own potential. Mm. So I was pretty motivated and hungry to, you know, it's kind of an F you, you know, one of those years. Yeah. And, and it was working. Like we came out swinging. My brother was my mechanic. It was pretty cool. Um, and then I flattered it at that first round. And that was kind of just how the year went. Right. Like, right. so that was a mechanic, no race. Then I had a huge injury at Fort William. Okay. I hurt my back, got through that, had some more flats. Um, and it would just, I just couldn't get going momentum wise. Mm. And then it was like just a spiral. And then I broke my hand. Okay. Was that the next? No, then I broke my hand. And I think being that old, it was my first big injury that kept me out of like half a year. Right, right. So then I'd lost speed, lost confidence. Age was there. And I think it took me longer to come back than I, than I thought. And then just didn't quite have the results in the following year. And then a lot of it's like, do I really want to do this? Do I want to get hurt? And I kind of made the decision that I, I want to go out on my terms. So I want to be on a bike that I like and I want to be around people and an environment that works. Okay. So something like Scott with Brendan was what I was going for. Right. Perfect. And I said to the yeah. Polygon guys, like, I kind of see my – see something else for me in the industry and, and I like content and you know I think I can test like I think I can add value and then we kind of they said well what about if we start racing and if the year doesn't go well we transition you and I was like that's perfect and that takes soup they got they took quite long to get back to me okay and this is Scott right no, yeah no yeah. this is uh, Polygon, oh, it's Polygon. sorry Polygon. right right and and no like no hard feelings like they were trying to speak to sponsors and and then they came back quite late in my mind with like it's not going to work we can't renew and that proposal is not going to work so i was like shit but i'd already put a proposal together mm. to be an ambassador to do promotions to do testing and i started sending that out and i got more interest in that than a race contract right really so right. it was kind of like the universe telling me like you know that it's all it's always going to end yep it's always going to be a challenge to transition you're always probably going to want to race more or do better. But eventually, I was like, it has to end. So there's kind of the universe telling me a bit of my gut. And then Scott came along and said, look, we really like the proposal. We've got an opening. It's not on the downhill team. That was still run by Cloudy at the time. Yeah. And then um, – so all these things are happening. And I'm having talks with Scott. I'm like, that's a cool company. You know, Brendan's there. The bikes are really good now. Like the brand's – forward thinking they're working on things so i jumped at it i was like you know what it's got to end what so the other thing even my dad at the time my late father was like well why don't you race for yourself like just you've you've got the the money like mm -hmm. you know why don't and i was like well if i really wanted to race long term so if i was 25 it made sense to make an investment for a year or two and get a factory run. Okay, but at yeah. 32 yes i can go out on my terms but i'm going to burn all my cash Mm. And then I might not get a ride or want a ride. True. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So that's a winded answer of like, part my gut. You got to listen to like, your your gut's like an important thing, and I'm trying to be better at that. And then also like the universe. Mm. There were no real factory rides. Just to sort of if it's there, it's there sort of. Yeah. yeah. And it's like it's not the bike or people I want to be around. And people like the idea of this ambassador role. And they've got a small amount of budget to get it going, and let's let's try it. And then at the same time, like 
Crankworks had asked me, I did some fill in commentary and they were like, if you, and they kept emailing me and I was like, I'm not ready. I'm not, you know, like, leave me alone. <laughs> That's awesome. But stop influencing my decision. <laughs> and then as soon as I made the call, I was like, I just emailed them straight and we got on a call and I said, you know, is, is that office still there? Is this thought? Pr-? And they said, no, we'd love to have you. We think you're insight and, and Amazing. you were not trained at the time. So those two, two things fall into place. So there's your long winded answer. Mm bit of the industry, a bit of my gut, and then a bit of realization it's always going to end. Yeah. So what's the difference in 20 years if I end at 32 or 34? Yeah. If I, you know, unless I was burning to race and there was a team. Like, 